All right, boys, it's 6.45 a.m. Something new is going on here, right? So usually when I do these talks, I'm usually sitting at this time of morning. Um, obviously, I've been up since 4.25. I do it every single solitary morning. That's just part of my routine. That's been one of the key factors that's contributed to just so much personal growth for me. And... This morning, I was experimenting. There's been a lot of experimentation going on this week and this weekend because we're, we're creatures of habit and we get stuck in these routines and we get stuck in these, these mental beliefs that we can't change what we're doing if it's working. But we're all, we should always be growing. And if we're always growing, that means we always need to add in new routines, new solutions, new ways of thinking. And I've come to realize that even me knowing this, like I know that we are creatures of habit and we get comfortable doing the same thing again and again. And it makes our brains feel weird to think about doing anything outside of, of the, what's normal and outside of the comfort zone. But that's really where the growth happens, you know? When you are in a season of, of growth, you must take place in uncomfortable experimentation. I found that experimentation leads to enlightenment because every single day, the day to days, especially if you're a disciplined person, you know, the only way to combat just drifting through life and accomplishing nothing is to have set processes and set routines that we follow every single day. But once you're going down that journey of personal development and bettering yourself and conquering every single day, you'll start to realize that as you flow through life, your circumstances might change. Things that worked for you in the past no longer work. And you have to be able to flow through those changes and mold your routine. You have to be, your routine has to be malleable. You have to be malleable because if you can't succeed in multiple different environments, and if you can't succeed without a certain process, you'll never ever be successful. My process, you know, like my daily habits that I have to include, I have to track my workouts and I have to work out every single day. Not every single day is with weights, but I have to go to the gym and get physical exercise every single day. I work out with weights and I, I train uh, in a bodybuilding style, usually about five times a week. And then I do an active recovery, which is I do cardio abs and some stretching mobility work twice a week. And you know, I've been, I've been fitness coaching for about seven years. So I've, I've trained and transformed like hundreds of, of, of people. I take that back. I haven't been coaching for seven years. I've been training for seven years, but over those years, I've coached a lot of people. You know, I've been, I've been do, doing fitness coaching for about two years now. Um, but I've trained a ton of people, given people a ton of programs, transformed a ton of lives. And it's always easy for me to change their routine and, and switch it up and, and, and things like that. And they know that, you know, I'm the one with the knowledge. I'm the one that's educated on it. So they listen to me and they get crazy results. But even with myself, I've found that I'll have a hard time switching from what's been working for me. This morning, I started a new split and, you know, I, I started a, a new routine where I'm going to go to the gym and do and do my workout fasted. What I've been previously doing is I go to the gym twice. I do my cardio in the morning and then I come home. I'm still waking up at 425 regardless. That's what I do for all of you lame motherfuckers in the comments saying that's not sustainable. I've been doing it for six months and I haven't missed a day. So go watch someone else's YouTube channel if you're gonna complain about that because it makes you insecure. We actually get shit done and we actually hold ourselves to a higher standard on this channel. But anyways, I still hit my cold shower. So that's part of my, my daily habits, you know. I teach something called the 545 method, which helps people start out without adding way too many variables in. So it's five goals that you set every single day that you're working towards, a four-step morning routine that gets you into the mindset and that gets you into the state where you can work towards those goals, and then five daily tasks that you have to complete 
only the important ones, starting with the most important, right? At this point, I now have like a five-step morning routine and I usually have about eight or nine tasks to get done during the day. But you know, I've been doing this for a few years. I've got a lot of experience and I run a business, so I have a lot more things. For those of you guys just starting out, when you're starting the 545 method, you wanna keep it as simple as possible and only change one variable at a time. I see people, they add in a variable, they do it for two days and they're like, oh, that didn't work, let me change it. You need to at least do something for a month, at least do something for four weeks if you add it in and only change one thing at a time so you're able to track the data and know, okay, did this work or did this not work by changing one thing at a time. That is how you get real results. You don't get real results by starting something, stopping something, adding a new thing, changing it. Don't do that. But once you get in a habit, you get in a routine, you've done something for months, it's been working. If your environment changes, if your schedule changes, you gotta switch things up. And that's what this is really about. Experimentation leads to enlightenment. This morning, and, and I'm, I'm backtracking on what I said so that I can give you guys some reference. This morning, I came in, I did my, my fasted workout. And I've worked out fasted before, I understand the benefits, and I've wanted for like six months, I've been like, man, I can't wait till I'm not just every single day trying to put on muscle, so I can go in the gym and work out fasted. Because the mental effect that it has of just that pursuit, that pursuit of dopamine, that pursuit, I feel like I can work out with so, with so much more, you know, ferocity and aggression, and I love it. Rather than, you know, working out four meals deep into the day, now I might have, uh, not might, I will have more strength and more energy and that's why we do it. All my clients that are putting on muscle and they're actively trying to bulk or put on as much tissue as possible, I have them work out after their third or fourth meal. I want them to have consumed half of their daily value of carbs by the time they work out. And I want their pre-workout meal to be consumed at least an hour and a half before they work out. And that's usually their highest carb meal. That way the glycogen stores in their muscle can be like insane, it can be really built up so they can go in there, have the energy to sustain their workout, work out with a ton of intensity and have the strength that they need to stimulate, you know, a ton of muscle breakdown so when they feed it, their muscle grows back, right? But I've been stuck in that because I've, I was actively trying to put on muscle, trying to put on muscle. That's the season of life that I was in. But now that I'm more focused on my business, and finding the absolute best personal development so I can teach that to all my elite clients and everyone that's inside of my community, that is a new season for me. But in my head, I was like, I don't wanna change my routine. I don't wanna change my routine. I don't wanna change my routine. And I knew that I needed to. And so the past couple weeks, I've been feeling like, I've just been feeling like I'm in a funk. And I'm like, why is that? It's because your brain is not dumb. Your brain is smart, especially when you've put it to the test and your brain's always looking for new efficiencies and new ways to do things more effectively. And that's, that's how mine is now because I've trained it to be like that. And I knew that I needed to change. I knew I needed to switch up my routine because I'm going into a new season focusing on my business and I was still on the routine that was focusing on me putting on muscle. Right now, I just wanna maintain my physique. I just wanna maintain my physique and I wanna optimize my health. I wanna optimize how much work I can get done during the day, how long I'm in flow state and how many people I can impact. So I bit the bullet, I decided to start a fast and I'm doing that because every time I change, I like to do a fast. I'm just doing a little 48 hour water fast. So I'm like, I think I'm 12 hours deep in, in my fast right now. Um, and so I'll go till it's, it's Monday morning. I'll probably go till, till Wednesday morning um, before I eat again. But this is gonna be my new routine. And I went in there and I was like, okay, fuck it. Like, I don't wanna stop eating, but I'm going to because I've committed to that and I know that I need to do that when I start a routine. And so I added my new split into my custom app that I have all my elite clients in. And I added my new macro profile and I'm doing carb cycling. So my active recovery days, my carbs are a lot lower and my protein is higher. And then on the days when I'm training with weights, my carbs are still super high. But 
I'm only going to be eating those meals after my workout. I'm going to do my workout in the morning fasted. So my new morning routine will be 425 wake up. And I used to go instantly into drinking 32 ounces of water and then making coffee and going outside and doing my morning push-ups. But now since I'm working out in the morning, I'll do my 425 wake up every single morning and I'll make my coffee and drink my 32 ounce of water, cold shower, and then I'll head to the gym, I'll hit my workout, I'll train, I'll do everything that I need to do, track it in my app because if you're not tracking, you are slacking. You are not gonna get better if you're not tracking your workouts. If you're just going in there, going with the flow and being like, oh, I'll do this, this machine's open. There's a reason why your physique doesn't look like mine. You are not putting in the work and you are not pursuing what you want with relentless intention. That is the only way to get those extreme results that you want. That is the only way to make an outlier out of yourself is to put in more effort than the next man. And that's what we do in my business. That's what we do in aggression fitness. Everything we do is to become a rare individual, the highest version of ourselves. That's what I teach through mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. But back to the story. So that's my morning routine. I'm working out. I finish my workout. I come in here and I write in my journal. I've got my, um, this is dangerous, don't do that. <laughs> I'm a professional knee driver. But I've got my journal here, and so I write a page in my journal every single day after my workout, and then I'll be making a YouTube video like this for you guys. After my workouts is when I'm in the highest flow state, um, and that's when I'll make I'll write my journal, whatever came to me during my workout. Your, your workout is a time of elevation. I always have my greatest thoughts during my workout. No matter how I felt this morning, I'm not gonna lie. I went into my workout feeling like shit. I was like, man, this is gonna suck. I have no food, I'm tired. My cold shower sucked like it does every single morning. But as I know, as always, the workout transcends any problem that I'm going through. The workout is what elevates you. You're, you get that blood oxidation and you push through any problem that you could have. That is what's so amazing about it. So now, I'm in flow state, I'm gonna go home. If I wasn't fasting, this is what I'd be doing. I'd be making my, um, my, my morning shake that I make for me, all my elite clients as well, I build them out a custom morning shake based on their goals, their body composition, what they're trying to achieve. Um, so I have my morning shake that I do with, you know, different, uh, there's some different supplements in it, like some L-glutamine, creatine, um, then I'll take, you know, an omega-3 fish oil. I like to take Tongue Cat Ali and some ashwagandha, as well as, you know, a magnesium. Um, but that's a little protein shake. I throw some egg whites in there, protein powder, and then, um, if I'm bulking, I'll do maybe like a little bit of like low calorie chocolate syrup, but I'm not gonna do that right now because it doesn't matter. And I'm just sitting here out of maintenance. Uh, but today when I go home, I'm, I'm fasting. So I'm just gonna get straight to work. But that's what I do. I'd make my shake and then I'd sit down and I'd get to work and I'd work for about, I'll be home at like 7, 7.30 probably. And then I work from 7.30 to about um, 11.30. And then I have my first meal and then I get on calls for the rest of the day from probably 12 to 5 p.m. and then at 5 p.m. I'll either um, read and then get ready for you know any any do any programming that I have to do for my business or you know I might study a YouTube video take some notes or plan some more content go to the sauna and then I'm asleep and I'm doing it all again the next day my whole day is designated around creating the best individual that I can be keeping myself in that flow state so I can actually impact others because the most selfish thing to do would be to always be in a state of negativity. If you're always overindulging in food and you're never progressing in the gym and you're never putting yourself in uncomfortable states, all you're gonna be doing is taking out of other people's lives because you aren't even in the state where you can impact others. That's why I push tracking your training and dialing in your nutrition so hard because half of you guys are so stuck in the same routine of just eating whatever you want thinking yeah I've hit my protein goal and not tracking your workouts just going in there and doing the same thing you've been doing over and over again and that's why you're stagnant you're not actually stagnant you're going backwards because if you're not growing you're dying everyone else is progressing and you are not because you always tell yourself I don't need to do that yet I'll start doing that 
next week. Oh, I'll start before the summer. I'll start, you know, before I go to the beach. Fuck that. Start now. The best time to start was five years ago. The second best time to start is right now. There's no more procrastination. There's no more studying that you need to do. There's no more things that you need to learn. You need to dial in right now. Either find a coach, DM me on Instagram and, and, and hit me up and we'll get your nutrition right. Or do the research yourself. Take the time, invest the time that it takes to learn and apply it. That's what you have to do. That is the only way that you are going to transcend to the highest version of yourself, right? Because how you do anything is how you do everything. And the fastest and the best way to stimulate that lifestyle change and to actually change everything about your life is to implement a new mindset, new habits, and reinforce them with the habit of tracking your nutrition every day. That's keeping you in that high frequency state. You're not giving into your desires, eating ice cream and Cheetos all day long because you're paying attention, you're being mindful about what you are feeding your body. Your external physique, the how clean your car is, how clean your room is, your financial state, it is all a representation of your internal. Your mindset, what you put in your body will all project itself to the outside. And if you're not creating those habits through tracking your workouts every day, tracking the weight, tracking the reps, having a split that you know you can follow that is detailed and it's tailored for you so that you can reach your goals, guaranteed is going to implement that new habit and that new routine of making sure and tracking and having the data to make progress every day. Same with your nutrition. You're being mindful about what you're putting in your body. You're caring about yourself. You are you are literally tracking the quantity and the quality of the food that you're inputting into the greatest gift you have, which is your body. You only get one. But you guys are over here fucking trashing it, walking around with tits and a beer belly, thinking it's okay. That is the most selfish thing you could do in this whole entire life. The one gift that you have, tell everyone else, yeah, I don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about me. How are you gonna give a fuck about anyone else if you don't even give a fuck about yourself? These are the things that have to change. These are the things that have to change. Tracking your nutrition, tracking your training will jumpstart your personal growth. It's the only way to develop that new lifestyle because as I said, how you do anything is how you do everything. And once you're buzzing on that high frequency 24 seven of holding yourself accountable, pushing your limits, tracking the progress that you're making, you will be in an enlightened state everywhere you go. You will start to attract everything that you want. Your frequency is what you frequently see. If you're constantly losing, you're going to look through, you're gonna look at life through that window, through that frame of losing. But if you're constantly winning because you're always pushing yourself, you're always in an uncomfortable season of growth, you will always be winning and everything you see will be through a winning frame of reference. This is what you guys have to understand. Experimentation is the key to enlightenment. Don't get comfortable. Don't get complacent. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Push every single day. It does not, we were not put on this earth to just lay in our bed and just deteriorate. How blessed are you that you have the opportunity, you have the help, you have the mind where you can study and learn and shape your physique and chisel your mind into the greatest form that it can be. How blessed are we that we're able to do that every single day? But half of you guys are fucking just letting that shit die. You're not even taking advantage of that opportunity because you just want it given to you. You have to be willing to sacrifice. You have to be willing to put in the work. How much are you willing to sacrifice? Everything that you want, it's not because of your circumstances or what happened to you when you were younger, the things that you've had to go through. That's not the reason why you're not where you want to be. The reason why you're not where you want to be is because you haven't put in the effort. It is simple. It is simple. 
anything that you want to achieve. You don't need permission to achieve it. You are able. But if you are not there, it's simply because you haven't put in the required effort to get it. You have to put in the required effort to acquire your dream outcome, your dream life. Whatever you want to achieve, you are capable, but you have to push yourself every single day. And it sucks, but your capacity will grow and you will be able to push and you will be able to push past any wall that stands in front of you. You will be able to break it down. I promise you. I promise you, I don't care what you're going through. If you're pushing yourself and you're holding yourself to a higher standard every single day, you will be able to get better because you'll be able to rely on your process. The four pillars of man, mindset, habits, nutrition, and training, and they will not fail you. They will not fail you. It is a roadmap to your success. Anytime that you feel lost, there is no longer, it's no longer a shot in the dark, mindlessly wondering, hoping that something comes around when you implement an unbreakable process, a resilient mindset, bulletproof habits that build upon your nutrition and training, you will become unstoppable. There's no question about it. I love y'all boys. Like, subscribe, comment about anything that you're going with, that you're struggling with. Jump in my school community because everyone needs a community of brothers. I keep it very, very, I keep a small amount of people in there and I kick a lot of people out because I don't think that, that some people actually want it bad enough and I wanna keep the community just straight killers. Straight killers. Only people that are pushing themselves to be better every single solitary day. And you need a brotherhood to hold you accountable. You need a brotherhood. You need to have that accountability and, and that drive to push with other warriors that are working every single day towards their goals. Again, I love y'all boys. Let me know some more comment that y'all want to comment, some more content that y'all want to see in the comments. And I'm going to work on getting at least one of these videos out every two days. That's my goal right now. Um, in a world full of pussies, stay aggressive.